just bear with me real quick. I just want to see how we really look close together. We got all my pillows in order. <clears throat> all the pillows in order. Oh, man, I love being on a desk. Not, it's not too cramped in style, but at the same time, it's got substance to it. Good substance. Big substance. Pens. I feel like you purposely spread the pen up, by the way. No, I didn't. All right, so we're going to have to fix, fix you. So come back a little bit. So maybe just put it on the chair? I possibly. Yeah. Yeah, because it's going to be a tight squeeze unless I come back more. Yeah, no, no, you're good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, let me see it. Forgot you got it. Oh, wow. Prison, that's the. That's what cool. Is, what is that? The new 10. Oh, you got the 10 10. So, how legit is it with your eyes? So good. Yeah, make it happen. So good. No, no, make this. Let's make it happen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I did that to him the other day. What, what did you have? Wait, was, so was something. I'm good? like, oh, today's your he, on his coffee mug. It says oh, today's, your today's your day. I'm like, today's your day, man. He's like, yeah, it is. No, I'm like, happen. no, literally, it says no, you, make it on your coffee mug. <laughs> yeah, we gotta be like, yo, what's up, guys? Um, <laughs> so maybe another uh, shoe, uh, shoe box. Oh no, keep like, elevating the game. What do you? You can. Um, I probably have a little too much I on the so. side. You think so? Yeah. One more. Okay. And it oh, falls. It falls. Whatever. Yeah. yeah it's, oh, it won't fall. Is that your I, was, I was joking. This one? Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, oh, tether works too. Oh, wait, that's what we did last For time. For this, yeah. So, yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. a little bit more stable. Oh, you were joking about the shoebox? No, I will get oh. it though. Oh, I just thought about that now. Don't worry, oh, I'm, I'm just recording to make sure I got it. It's just to analyze it to make oh, sure. Oh, but yeah. this is legit. You do you really think there's going to be a plus? I hope not. This is a perfect size. Like, this is like, you could. The reason I say that plus is two. for people that use their phone as like a clicker. Mm -hmm. People that are oh, presenting yeah. like they it's versatile, it's so, so it's yeah. such a good size to be able to. You're not like it's a little bigger than this because this is a, is this a plus, yes, Frank. Is, this, like, is this a seven? That's a seven plus yeah. trying to like, yeah, yeah, juggle it, and it's bigger than the regular one, right? Yeah. The regular seven, yeah, bigger. is this about the same size as a six? Oh, it's a bigger, six, a little bit bigger, and a seven, the seven by itself would be the same, it's a little bit bigger. Oh, yeah, it's just like a hand. And what was the thing you were talking about with the eyes? I don't, I'm not so it that. only unlocks if I look at it. Whoa. So it's got retinal recognition? Facial. Facial yes. recognition, not retinal. Retinal would work though. That's pretty good. Oh, gotta have a guess on top. Gotta! Safe step to get to guess. I like that. Oh. Oh. Frank, where does, where does Frank fall in this? Well, I fall really low, that's for sure. Um, does it look I gotta be like, what's up, guys? Does it look, <laughs> hey. does it look level to you? No, it's not. Okay, you're right, it's not at all. Use the, the canvas. Because the canvas, I have, I have that leveled on, against the wall. Alright. I'm gonna do it from this angle, so you let me know. Desmond? I think that's good. Is that good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. See my big old dome. No, that's cool. Like, and then we'll all go back on it. <laughs> Oh, I should come with a P2. Okay. Oh, there's a whole system to this madness. Oh, what is good, Z Nation? Daily Xander. 379. Just a little conclusion for the day. Awesome podcast with Desmond and Frank. Loved every moment of it. Again, continual growth for me. Answering questions I've never really thought about before. Give me a think in a different way about myself, but then also listening to both Desmond and Frank and being able to see what they're thinking about on a daily basis and how they operate throughout life. And it's just a powerful experience to be in the presence of. And I really enjoy conversations like that, deep, meaningful conversations, because it really allows what human, the human being experience is about, connecting, developing meaningful relationships and understanding individuals at a level you don't necessarily experience throughout one's day to day a lot of times and then also after I got back to my place I went to Safeways to get some food and I had this really neat experience of chatting with a homeless veteran Marvin 
And when I first saw him from a distance right outside the Safeway, I parked my bike and I just noticed him right away, just sitting next to the entrance. And I went up to him and I just straight away asked how he was doing and asked if he needed anything as far as food. And he just said, honestly, man, what I really need is some clothes and a blanket. And we're at Safeway, so there was no, there was no clothes there. So I said, hey, man, just give me like about 10 or 15 minutes to go inside, see if I can get you a gift card or some food. In my mind, when I went inside, I was like, you know, I'm just going to give him cash. So after I got my food and got back out, I went up to him and, hey, man, here's 20 bucks. And he was very grateful and appreciative of it. And what was really cool right afterwards, I mean, he got up and told me a little about himself. But then also right afterwards, in that span of chatting with him for about 20, 15, 20 minutes or so, two other individuals came out of the store. And her name was Violet. Believe. She came up with like three bags of, or two bags of groceries and like eight or ten Gatorades, pack of Gatorades to just drop off for him and, and, and looking out and being and having a genuine interest in another human being. And then after like a couple minutes after Violet dropped off food for him, another guy came out of the store and dropped off like three bags for this man. And it was really neat to be a part of just experiencing three random individuals, including me, at this particular time of night. Just want the best for this man, especially for tonight and a couple next couple days as far as giving him food and such. And it was it was really interesting for me to, to listen and take a genuine interest because he, he really expressed how appreciative he was to me and to also them. But to hear him out and listen to a little bit of his story, and he has quite the negative story as far as being a veteran. PTSD. This guy was definitely being genuine and authentic and real with me and being vulnerable and sharing what he had to share and just the ugliness of his entire family and how his wife died. And everybody else in his family has really had a lot of violence and no one is really left in his family whatsoever. He's really on his own and he felt this urge to share with me a moment that that got him and strengthened his faith and his spirituality with me as far as a sense of God and a moment he had when he had a grandma stroke when he was a little kid and how he had this out of body experience and he was able to view him, his body and see that he was dead but then being restored and go into like a tunnel vision as he described it. And that was really neat for him to share that with me. And just having a moment like that where somebody's being genuine and really getting to experience in a short amount of time what this individual has gone through. And he even told me a little bit about how he's how he wishes he doesn't actually wake up in the morning so he can be be with his wife who's, who's dead. And I shared back with him, at first expressing how appreciative I was for him to share that with me. And I, I told him how his life matters in the sense that he's gone through all these experiences and how he can be, he can add value to other people, especially veterans with PTSD, and offer support. And I know he's going to continue to battle with that going forward, but it's just, um, it's just really neat to see other people outside of me take an interest in him in a short amount of time to where, at least for tonight, he's got a lot of positivity in his life to where it could could be that that little bit, that little degree change in direction in your life, whether you're a boat in the ocean, you take one degree change, your path completely changes. That small change in his life, heck, he could be going down the positive route now to get out of his current circumstances. And his current circumstances are very dull, grim, and not looking very prosperous. And the guy, def- the guy definitely has good and great intention as far as he's a. He's been. Gone through some very tough situations and experiences. And uh, it was just really, really neat. For me to experience that, and again, adding to my perspectives and experiences, and being able to at least add some value to somebody's day. 
and know it's very impactful and it allows you to appreciate life I appreciate the current circumstances I'm in where I'm going my family the people I just connected with earlier today with podcasting and seeing other individuals human beings that don't know this man at all and help out with donating food and money and oh that was another that's right there was, a, there was actually a fourth person that gave him money too so it was just just amazing the time I asked him originally when I got to safe I was the first one to just engage with him and then the time I came out from the store and talked to him and gave him money, I literally saw three other people do the same exact thing through food and donating money. And it's just really cool to see in a short amount of time how all of a sudden four of us, random strangers, came together and took an interest in this man. And you talk about seeing the beauty in humanity. Well, right there, that's beauty in humanity in the sense that randomness and in, in, in seeing others you have no idea their story but we're all connected in the sense that we took an interest in another human being and I wish him the utmost for him continually dealing with the PTSD because that is something that is tremendously difficult absolutely and, and that he has to He'll uh, hopefully continually be able to focus on his why in the sense that his life matters as far as the story he can tell and how it can help others going through a similar situation and know that there's still value to your life and how you can be significant to others. And I uh, really hope he's able to, to find people, to find a group positive people to help him with change in his circumstance and perfect example there you don't have to feel like you have to change the world it's more so looking for ways you can still value in the areas you live and so much can be added in value for just focusing on how you can make a difference not even a difference how you can impact the area you live in so it was a really cool experience I uh, had for tonight with the podcast and then interaction with that homeless man. And oh, I'm uh, very appreciative and grateful of continual growth for myself because ultimately better, the best, uh, I'm aiming to become the best version I possibly can and I never want to become that ultimate version but aiming for it. So I'm able to be able to impact more people. All right, G-Nation, pleasure as always. Peace, love, unity, respect. And much passion. And just loving life. Over and out. Ora.